Hey, what's up guys? Got the new Wise Mesh Router that I'm gonna box and review, do my full-on speed test and wired and wireless backhaul range test, talk about the app. This is a dual band system. So together, it covers up to 3,000 square feet. It is a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system with a speed rating of AX3000 and the fastest internet it could support is up to gigabit speed. So this comes in a two pack or you could get it as a single pack or you could get both and basically all three I should say and even increase your Wi-Fi coverage further. So it looks like we got some indicators, what the lights means, what the ports are, and to download the Wise app from the App Store or the Play Store essentially. So let's look at the router. Okay, it is a bit smaller than the Pro version, and I do have the Pro version here. It's gonna warm up a little bit. Well, we'll find out when we use it. So reset, power, two gigabit ports. I'm assuming they're auto-sensing. This is the Wise Mesh Router Pro, so you can see it is larger, and the Wise Mesh Router Pro supports Wi-Fi 6E. It also has the 2.5 gigabit port, one 2.5 gigabit port, where both of these are gigabit. 100 to 240 volts, that's the power plug you can expect. We get two of those, and we get an Ethernet cable that does not tell us which category it is. I'm assuming it's Cat 5E or above. So it's been about two weeks since I've unboxed these using as my main mesh and so far so good with one exception. Specifically on the guest network, has nothing to do with the main network, but the guest network, sometimes the devices have trouble connecting to it. Now when they connect, they work fine. However, sometimes for some reason, it was having trouble connecting even after I restarted. The, the problem was intermittent, so it wasn't happening all the time, but I did notice it. And again, specifically with the guest network, hopefully there's a firmware update that addresses that issue. Aside from that, everything was good. So in that time, I had a chance to do all my speed test, range tests, have all those numbers here. For my Wi-Fi 6 device, I use my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And for my Wi-Fi 6E devices, even though this is a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system, I still use my Wi-Fi 6E devices, Pixel 7 Pro, Galaxy S23 Ultra, because typically Wi-Fi 6E devices do a little bit better even when connected to a Wi-Fi 6 system. So, starting with the internet speed test, no matter how fast your mesh system is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be 940 megabits per second download and 880 megabits per second upload. Now, when I do connect to this via ethernet from my computer, I get those speeds, no problem. However, the Wi-Fi devices are a different story. And as you guys can see, Wi-Fi 6 definitely a drop. Wi-Fi 6C did a lot better in terms of the download speeds. Actually did very well for the download speeds, but definitely in Don't surprise me because most mesh systems that I test are typically in between the 300s most of the time. So that really doesn't surprise me much. Now, to truly isolate this mesh system, what we need to do is do a local speed test server. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired and wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. Now I've done a separate video on this where I go into great detail, links below if you guys are interested. So looking at these numbers, you could see there's a huge increase in speeds, both for Wi-Fi 6 and 6E both in download and upload speed. So, especially for Wi-Fi 6E, you could see that it's pretty much being capped right under gigabit speeds. The reason for that is because these ports are actually limited to gigabit speeds. If they weren't, Wi-Fi 6E typically goes much faster than that. Now, the same is true for the wired backhaul, very similar numbers to the single router configuration, which doesn't surprise me. But for wireless backhaul, there's definitely a drop. The reason being is that this is a dual band system with not exactly the fastest speed rating. So I typically don't recommend dual band systems if you're gonna run wireless backhaul. Okay, range test. Now range will vary based on location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. So in my case, at 20 feet away inside my place, get very good numbers. Even 50 feet, that's when I'm outside, still getting very good numbers, even up to 100 feet, and it goes all the way up to 180 feet. So not the greatest in range, but fairly good considering the price of this mesh system. Now, as far as the Wise app, it is a simplified interface, so it doesn't give you too many options. It's closer to how the Eero is set up, where it gives you the main stuff that you need. But if you're one to customize, I definitely recommend going the Asus route. It also has a web interface, again, very similar 
uh, limited in terms of options, but it's nice and clean. Two things worth noting. Number one is it does run hot. Not as hot as the Wise Mesh Router Pro, but definitely the second hottest mesh system that I've tested to date. So something to keep in mind. Number two is that it still has, well, obviously, uh, it still has the guest network intermittent connection issues. Hopefully this, I don't see this as a long-term problem. I think they'll see that and fix it and we should be good to go. So I, that's something that they can fix with the firmware update because the main network doesn't have issues like that. So I don't think it's because of the antennas or hardware wise. I think it's just really a software thing that they need to address. Aside from that, this would be a good choice if you are someone that has internet speeds of up to gigabit that's planning on using wired backhaul that doesn't need an absurd amount of range. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.